Now, in the past eight years, America's spiritual fall and moral descent has deepened and accelerated. It is absolute, and you have to be only blind spiritually not to see it. And I'm going to be more specific because, again, this is not political, and I, but this is let the chips fall where they may. The president administration, not anymore, has led this nation to champion the killing of the unborn, not only in the borders of America, but around the world, seeking to force it and reward or punish nations for doing so or not doing so. The administration labored to strike down the standards and order ordained by God concerning man and woman marriage, overturning marriage in America, working around the world to pressure nations to overturn the standards they had regarding it. Under the present administration, former, present, relations between the United States and Israel were brought to their lowest point in the history of the two nations. And the administration's parting gift to the Jewish nation was to abandon it at the United Nations and allow and even foster a resolution that declared that Israel's ancient holy city given to Israel by God, Jerusalem, did not belong to Israel, but was, quote, Palestinian territory. From the days of Rome and Babylon to the Soviet Union to communist China, governors, or actually governments and governors at war with God have not only persecuted his people, but they've used the power of the state to coerce them, to try to force them to desecrate their faith. They commit acts against the commands of God. In the last eight years, it has happened in the United States of America. Under the present administration, former president, the government sought to use the powers of state to force believers to go against the commands of God, to take part in the overturning of marriage, to celebrate what God says is a sin. And whenever it was raised that there should be exemptions for Christians or ministers, the administration fought to eliminate any exemption. In the army, new regulations were imposed concerning this. And when it came up that Christian ministers could not sanction or perform a marriage between a man and a man, goes against the word of God, the administration fought that they would have no exemption, that they would be forced to do so. The administration, under its health care plan, inserted abortion so that now companies would be forced to pay for abortion when Christian-owned companies said, we can't do that because that's the killing of the unborn. The administration took them to court to force them to do that. But thank God lost for now. When a Christian woman said, I can't take part in this, I can't put my name on this before God, the marriage of, the, of two women or two men. In this climate of persecution, she was arrested and put in jail. Now, it's interesting because when the opposite happened in California, when it was not legal and there were, there were government officials who broke the law and issued married licenses to same-sex couples, they were not put in jail. They were not even punished. Nothing happened at all. But when a Christian said, I can't do this because of God, she was imprisoned. And the administration gave its blessing to her imprisonment. More and more, we were watching believers being vilified, boycotted, taken to court, punished by the state. Believers stood on the brink of losing all religious freedom 